Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song, and He has become my salvation. Isaiah 12, 2 Devotional, cling to God's promises. What do you think about? The thoughts you fill your mind with, with are critical because what you cling to influences your world will. If you choose to dwell on God's promises, you start to recognize God's blessings during uncertain times, trusting that God will redeem your present pain equals you to walk forward in faith and keep on fighting. Isaiah 12, 2 reminds us that we belong to a God who is faithful to keep his promises. This God rescues us and fights for us. So when we belong to God, we have nothing to fear. All we need to do is cling to God and wait on him to act. So as you walk forward today, reflect on some of God's promises and let them transform the way you think. God will sustain you. Psalm 55:22. God's peace will guard your heart. Philippians 4, 7. God delights over you with singing. Zephaniah 3, 17. God will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. Psalm 32, 8. God is your refuge and strength, your help in times of need. Psalm 46, 1. In all things, you are more than a conqueror because God loves you. Romans 8, 37. God will never ha- leave you or forsake you. Deuteronomy 31, 6. God's perfect love casts out all your fear. 1 John 4, 18. Nothing can separate you from God's love. Romans 8, 38 to 39. God's not done with you. God's not done with you. God's not done with you. Philippians 1, 6. Prayer. God, thank you for being my strength and my defense. You are always reliable and your promises to me are always secure. I have nothing to fear because you are with me. You protect me, strengthen me, and go before me. You are all I need because you are my salvation. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Scripture Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid, for the Lord God is my strength and my song, and he has become my salvation. Isaiah 12, 2 看哪,神是我的拯救,我要依靠他,并不惧怕,因为主耶和华是我的力量,是我的诗歌,他也成了我的拯救。以赛亚书,十二,二。Welcome. Whatever you're going through matters to God, take a deep breath and prepare your heart for His presence. This is your time to have an honest conversation with someone who loves you. Honor God, and hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Romans 5, 5 What we place our hope in influences our ability to endure difficult times. If we cling to something that is taken from us, our lives will crumble. What does placing your hope in God means, mean to you? Share with God whatever comes to mind. 
my concerns. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. Proverbs seventeen twenty two. Take a moment to process how you're feeling right now. Is there anything weighing you or a loved one down? Talk to God about whatever is on your mind in this moment. Thank God, God. When I think about all that you've done for me, I am overwhelmed with thanks. You're so good and kind to me. Thank you for being my steady source of hope and joy. You're worthy to be praised at all times, in every situation. In Jesus' name, Amen. Closing. Thanks for joining me today. As you commit your day to God, rest for a few moments, take a few deep breaths. Only leave this time when you're ready.